getting a little bit ridiculous. It's been another hour and uh, nothing, not even touched. So this guy got into a door. Uh, he's getting worked on. Just heard a forklift go in his trailer, so. Early morning, we are gonna miss the Atlanta traffic. So, got some good sleep. Now it's time to go ahead and head down 85 before that Monday morning traffic. It was fun, had a great time with you. Boat, watch some football, but now it's time to go get back to work. get that uh holly efi tuner in the mail we should have it in the mail this week so we can get that trans am making some noise you know firing up we might have a collaboration with another youtuber who knows but right now we are focused on getting this big rig out of here in the early morning trash cans are out oh there's third gear Okay, pretty empty uh, place over here. We just got one people uh, diving in a dumpster over here. But other than that, that's where we're going. So uh, you don't see many Atlanta warehouses that are this uh, open in the back. So we will get a little bit of a shut eye here and be ready for them at 7 a.m. See you then. And good morning, Atlanta. Did not want to hit that traffic, so we got here. Last night, it's kind of a misty, foggy morning. Let's go check in with our uh, receiver. No cars here yet, so. See if anybody. Well, there's a building in front, though, so we'll go check the door. Well, there was one guy sitting right out here. There's one trailer. And there's one truck leaving, so. We'll try and see what's going on. But all the cars are down that way. Hmm. We'll figure it out. There's a door. I can't read what it says above it. And we're going to suite 500, which is what that says, so. We'll figure it out. Good morning. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't be here, but I got a bunch of books from Asheville, North Carolina. Okay. That's really good. That's their first. Yeah. Man, that's a lot of books. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of startled me because I, the button keep, kept ringing the thing and the door opened up so quick. I was like, okay. I didn't expect that because there's nobody out here. There's nothing. But she's like, awesome. Get in the door. 34. I said, okay. Or did she say three or four or 34? 34 is way down there, so we'll see. But anyways, good morning. That's kind of cool. Let's open these doors. She had um, just rows of books through that window. Like this whole thing must be books. It's crazy. Some kind of chatter going on with the CB. We'll see about that. First, we got to air up. Yeah, it was definitely door 34 because that's where all the trailers are. DST on the side. Burning off that morning dew. 60, 63 degrees this morning. I didn't have to use the, the green APU at all last night. Didn't turn on my green APU. Well, it's perfect uh, 
temperature. Not too chilly, not too hot. 28, 29, 34 is probably right between those two right there. It's hilarious, like all that open space over there and then the one place where you, uh, where they do have the trailers, you have the cars parked in the curb over here on the right. Whatever, we're used to it. And that sun is bright. And yep, 34, right there, 33, 34. Both next to each other, both wide open. Should be an easy one. We got a Cascadia pulled up next to us. He might be going to 33. I don't know. If he needs me to move a little bit, I will for him. We'll see. But man, the sun coming up on a Monday. Let's look at the board and see if we can get something else out of here. Always makes you nervous. He's getting real close to that front bumper, but... Says he's got it. I don't know if he needs me to pull my truck out, but he got real close to my front bumper. All right, retry, retry. Let's see, they got that one truck right in front of him. Well, he can clear that one. He's a little bit further down than I am. We're just gonna stay here and, and help uh, see what we got. This don't hit that hood. Ooh. My bumper goes out. Further. Hey. I think he's, he's got it. Come on. You got it. You can see that right there. So he's looked got line of sight right on it. There you go. Okay. Almost. There you go, I like that angle better. He's got plenty of room in that uh, place, but he's, you can see his, he's going up on the curb now with his front tire. But wait, I don't know. As long as he's not hitting the truck, we're, we're happy. All right, looks like we're gonna be okay as long as he keeps that line. Good job, driver. So that's the guy that got in next to us and uh, he's already unloaded and heading on out. But our trailer hasn't been touched. And you can tell by how high the sun is in the sky. It's been about almost three hours. So we're gonna go check and see what's going on. Hello, good morning. I'm just checking on uh, door 34. Okay, yeah, you can come in. Okay. Let me get my boss. All right, thank you. I'm just checking, yeah. Yeah, he's um, gonna start unloading you in probably about 10 minutes. Okay, so just make sure he knew about it. Yeah, he knew. All right, <laughs> thank you. Uh, well, okay then, about 20 more minutes. Um, it's like 10 a.m. now, so don't know what took so long, but whatever. We laid back down and just rested. And that is a clean truck. He's got his tires shined up. That's good to go. And he's picking up here, so just a bunch of books all the way down. She opened the door and I could look in there, so. But hopefully it gets unloaded. Kind of weird that the guy that came in after us is already gone and leaving, but maybe he's a friend, who knows? Who knows? We're just praying we can get unloaded and see if we can get something else out of Atlanta. But it sure is beautiful out here, but the sun is getting the cab a little warm, so we do have the green APU on. Oh yeah, keeping us cool. Let's just pray that I can get this done. 20 more minutes, huh? All right, all right, maybe they had a break, who knows? Getting a little bit ridiculous. It's been another hour and uh, nothing, not even touched. So this guy got into a door, uh, he's getting worked on. Just heard a forklift go in his trailer, so I don't know. Um, another truck's right here. And then we had this load right here, a um, couple loads this morning, but that one's going right back to just south of where we picked up this load. And it was listed at 600. Uh, it was 500 originally. There was 600. Then it jumped up to that uh, 800. And I, I just I offered him when he was at 600. I said I'll do that for 850. Um, get me back towards the house because there's something else that came up today that uh, T Dub just called me on, and that makes a whole nother video that hopefully helps some of you guys. But um, anyways, I said, hey man, 800. I'd have to beat that or, or match that. Someone else has it for 800. I said, 
if they need me for 850, man, if that one falls off, let me know. And he just called me and said, hey, they'll do 850. I said, okay. So they're starting to work again with negotiating, which is very, uh, I guess, what's the word I'm looking for? Relieving for me because it used to be take it or leave it. Uh, and the, when, when the beginning of this market crashing was July and now they're starting to negotiate a little bit. So it makes you feel good. But right now let's negotiate with getting unloaded so we can go get that load, get back to the house before traffic gets too bad in Atlanta. Been here over four hours now, or checked in over four hours ago. Try one more time. My biggest concern now is that uh, lunchtime is coming up, and if they leave for lunch, like just let people know what's going on. You know, <laughs> say you're short staffed. Say you, say you don't have room for what I'm bringing, and you got to clear some space. I don't know, but. Uh, the other guy getting in here and leaving before me and then four hours later it's kind of like eh. and that other load picks up um, one o'clock so it's 11 o'clock right now checked in at seven and still nothing so it's getting warm out here good day for the lake but we're working gotta work do 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 So we're going to walk around to the front, see if we can get any other answers. See if we're going on lunch break or what's going on. Oh, yeah. I don't know if this whole building is thrift books or not, but we'll try each door. But it looks like it might be the doors down there. Oh, yeah, those are locked. I don't know if anybody's in there. You kind of see through there's offices and uh, desks. How you doing, guys? So now we're down to uh, 300, so it's graphic dimensions. Might as well continue our walk around the whole building. And then uh, 
go back to that door again and ring the buzzer. But yeah, it's a lot of people were sitting in their cars. Those guys were just hanging out in the back of their car. Seems like that's maybe lunch break or just a general break. I don't know. But some things never change. It's always a uh, hurry up and wait most of the time and then no information. No, like, uh, this is what's going on. This is what you got to wait for, do. It's cool. It's life. It's trucking. But let's go back there and just try and talk to somebody. If they're going to go on lunch or if it's lunch right now, I'd rather disconnect my truck, go get lunch myself. Um, but I really want to get out of Atlanta. The earlier you get out of Atlanta, the better. The later it gets, the worse that traffic gets. So try to get this next load. It's it's We're on the western side of Atlanta, kind of by Six Flags, um, Fulton area. And, and the next load's on the other side of Atlanta, kind of middle of Atlanta. And then it goes right back to uh, south of Asheville, north of Greenville, where I live. So that's cool. Yeah, as long as we can get there. As long as we can get this one off the truck. I just walked through the spider web. Oh, yeah. At least we got a full tour of... Uh, the entire building big building but uh, no one's over here on break so but that's a whole different company we got to get back to our truck and um just give me information let me know can i leave can i go get lunch myself are you making room for this product are you getting get these books off my truck please i don't know it's frustrating but that's trucking you guys deal with it uh out there on the same roads as i do full tour a three hour tour actually four Four and a half hours going on. Got a reefer unit plugged up to electrical power. That's cool. Keeping it cold. Wonder what they got. It's on the reefer here. Wonder what they're storing at that place. Who knows? That truck's still there at the end at the entrance. It's kind of chilling. And so is our truck. Yeah. Okay. I don't get it more like that truck and that car weren't parked here or that truck. <laughs> Why they park where the trucks have to back in park right here with the other cars but whatever we got our sunshades on because it is bright out here and then go try and make some more uh, connections already loaded up he got here about two hours ago something's got to give something's got to be going on yeah, i looked at where our next pickup is it's right off 285 almost where the 85 meets heading back towards the house so that's a good thing as long as we can get loaded up I just need to know what's going on. I got my next load picking up at one o'clock. I've been here four hours. Right. Is there anything that happened or what's going on? So yeah, confirmed uh, he is on break. So might be him out front, I don't know. Either way, uh, I said, can I go get some food? She said, yeah, you probably got another hour or so. I'm like, all right, let's get the truck disconnected, go grab some grub. Pray that when we come back, it's unloaded. One more thing, guys, don't do that. Especially when there's all these dumpsters around. Don't just dump your stuff on the ground right there um, or back up to the dumpster next to it and try to unload it there. There's also another dumpster right there. But we're disconnected, we'll get some food. Well, I was heading uh, over to like the main shopping strip mall area, uh, a bunch of food places over there. But I drove right past this and I said, that's extremely busy, first of all. A lot of cars here, a lot of guys working. And, uh, Smells really good, so let's go check it out. About one mile from where we just were. And the drive-thru is popping. Dine in and takeout orders. I was only I wasn't sure if it was only uh gonna be Yeah, barbecue, here we go. That's just where you so that's just a sitting area. Oh it smells good. Probably should have read the signs, right? They said put giant ones up for us. Okay. 
Okay, the good stuff. So it's called Beaver Creek Biscuit Company, right here in the corner. I don't know what the streets are, but it is good, guys. Different style than the barbecue place. Um, Bobby's Barbecue right by our house is amazing also. Kind of a South Carolina feel, but that place is worth the, worth the lunch. Whatever that stew stuff I got was like ground up chicken and corn stuff, man, tasty. Let's get back and see if our trailer is at least being unloaded. Let's see if she's getting unloaded. Oh goodness. Please have some forklift movement. Still a red light, so it is locked in. I don't see any movement on it, but hopefully there will be. And that is the sound you want to hear, guys. Yes, green lights. My goodness. Six hours later. Six hours. Oh, yeah. And they, my uh, broker just called me and said, hey, man, you going to make that next one? So I don't know, man. It's been six hours hanging out here. And then the um, overseas company called me to let me see if I was unloaded. And I said, not yet. But at least they're uh, working on a trailer. So... Once they actually started unloading it, it took them 25 minutes. So I wish that could have happened at 7 a.m. But that is trucking. Let's get to the next one. But first, we gotta get our paperwork. Finally, we are out of here. A little Cessna plane up there. We gotta close our doors. Whew. Okay, get this next pick up. If we left right now, we get there about 1.20. And we have till three. So let's go hope that they're in good spirits and hope they're faster than six hours. And I'm sorry, but this just screams work ethic to me. You didn't jump out of the uh, forklift and grab these books that fell? <laughs> Come on. <sighs> Boxcar children? Three Musketeers. Christian Life and Witness Student Handbook. Like, come on. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Let's go. Uh. There's Atlanta off to the right. You can see the skyline. And there is a 285 down there. And there's a fire truck. Let's get back on that 285. I had to correct myself. This is actually the 20, not the uh, 285. Smooth sailing. 
85 because we would exit right before the 85. So that'll all depend on how quickly we get loaded here. And I'm just praying it's less than eight hours or six hours. I'll take two hours at this point. Any any bit is better. Uh, we'll stay behind this uh, hot shot Jeep getting transported right here. And we are in Dor Doraville? Doraville. Dora. Dora the Explorer. Established in 1871. Okay. Should be right here on the left. Do, 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 do. That's elementary school. So that's 700 feet. All right. Kind of a small industrial. I don't know. Commercial properties mixed in with with uh, residential. So there's two on the left here. I'm gonna let him go ahead and pull out unless he's going this way. I think I'm the building next to him though. I don't know. He's got his blinker on to go right, but he's going left. New Peachtree Road, 5697-5673. That's what we're looking for. But ours is that one. Da, 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 da. Ours is 5693. And that's what that sign says. 97. So we need to turn here. Looks like it's pretty tight. W9 friendly. Here we go. Food, grocery market, open to public, global cabinetry. We're looking for uh, master graphic services, 5693. So 5697, but that's 5665. Who knows? 5669. Da, 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 da. Yeah. What did that say? Uh, 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 uh. There's a car behind me. Okay, hazards on, let them go around. Because I do believe that one said. Uh, master graphic, that's what we need. Okay, door 17 to 19. What do we got here? I don't see door numbers anywhere. That is gonna be tight. Let's go talk to some people. says it's that big building over there or the map oh, right. yeah, yeah is that it? master graphics right yeah this that's, is it. that's what i'm graphics. looking for yep all right um i got one going to fletcher north carolina now most of them usually what they do is pull down and then they back, back all, all the way, way up in. and is this the door this okay right that here. might be doable then yeah. all right i'll get in it all right <laughs> i'll be right back that right there is why it is so important to uh just park your truck where you're safe and you can get out um, and then walk. <laughs> it's better to walk 500 yards than to make 500 problems for other people. So we'll just be able to come in this way. We'll go up a little bit further back in here and then be able to back in there because we'll be on our good side. If we were back in this side, we'll be on our blind side, they call it, where you can't see your trailer turning. This side, you can see your trailer coming in. So we're getting that door. Nice guy. And he said, yeah, waiting for you. We won't go to Fletcher. I said, Cool, man. Let's get it done. Okay, now that box truck just pulled in here and went exactly where we're trying to go. Yikes. So we're going to at least get lined up, get out of the street, 
and wait for him. Maybe he's just doing a quick drop. I don't know. But that's the door we were trying to go to. Now I have a like a mailbox right here and I have a curb I can ride on this side. There's a bunch of yellow poles that they put up. <laughs> so I'm gonna go even further up, get my truck ready to move because I have to make that turn before I hit that uh, mailbox. Hazards are on. Nobody coming down the road. Let's do this. But once I clear that mailbox, I'll be able to swing my nose over, but it's a timing thing. W9s do not time very well, <laughs> if that makes sense. Oh, come on now, miss that mailbox. Make that trailer turn. There we go. The mailbox is right there. There's a little planter. Once I miss that planter, my trailer's heading in where I want it to. And we can start cutting back and not mess up their trees. Nice new Bronco right there. It's like a forest green. We'll go. And now that I'm cleared from the mailbox, I can pull up a little bit and get my trailer in line with me so I can control it better. Because if it's at too much of an angle, you can't really turn it too much. But gonna hit the green Bronco? No, we're not. Stay off of it. Alright, there we go. Now we're backing up. Backing up, Terry. I would have thrown the drone up for you guys, but. Time is of the essence, and also uh, there's airliners going over, like little Cessnas or little uh, G6s, whatever you want to call them. So I'm pretty sure there's going to be a no fly zone. And the cool thing about these new drones and the new stuff out these days, sure, you got to have your 107, which we have. Uh, it's an aviation certification. But also, they won't let you fly. If it's any kind of Echo, Charlie, Delta airspace that's prohibited or, or restricted airspace, you can't even throw it up in the air, can't even launch. So it's really cool. It keeps the airspace a lot safer these days. But when there is no airports around and no restricted airspace, it is cool to uh, to throw it up there. But right now, we're in an air, we're in some airspace. Because that plane was low that was going over. I don't know that for sure, but I'm, I guarantee if I turned it all on and it GPS satellite images you, or satellite finds you, and then uh, let you know if you're good to go or you got some stuff to, to get clearance for or you just can't fly. Those new drones are pretty dang cool. Let me keep my trailer in the middle so that I can get it to go into the door and then I have enough room to get my truck, the truck in the front of my nose to go that way. The Mr. Box truck took our door. So, get it done. Just leave room for him to get around past us. That's what you'd like to see. He was running back to his truck with his papers and he probably just dropped off one pallet or something. But he's already out of here. Good, good. We barely had to stop for a little bit. All right, now this is gonna be fun, fun, fun till my daddy takes my T-Bird away. Because we do not have any room and we have a couple cars over to the left that are going to uh, impede us from making the turn. We might have to just kind of 90 degree it and leave the truck at an angle, but we gotta get the trailer uh, straight on with the door. We'll see. See how this works out, Cotton. Bold move. Bold move. Oh yeah, my trailer is almost 90 with the truck right now, but just about right. And I have a dumpster on that side. We're gonna be uh, boot scooting boogie and back and forth on this one. Because right now it's about lined up, but if I keep it that angle, it'll over, over uh, pivot. So it won't. So if I keep going up and back a little bit by a little bit, but then I got this giant ramp right over here. <laughs> oh my goodness. day cab friendly for sure. I'll show you what I mean by the ramp that I'm fighting with right now in a second. It's like the forklift ramp that they built.
So we got it all lined up and uh, we're still a little bit off, but he said, I can work with that, just leave it there. This is what I was talking about. My tire is probably hitting right here. So you really don't want to rip up your bumper, mess anything up, but for me to get back around right there, that's what we were looking like. So, all right, well, we're in there. getting there okay we loaded we got paperwork and we have uh quite the line waiting to get into this place so they're busy busy okay let's move this thing out of their way so they can get their stuff done too but this is not w9 it is day cab and box truck friendly they're all waiting to get where i'm at so let's get out of their way hey, everybody got the bypass coming out of georgia and somebody said some very mean things on the cb just now cut somebody off and there were some choice words chosen make a good time we didn't have too much bad traffic it flowed okay just one little accident coming out of uh, Atlanta but blessed uh, we're gonna stop up here at 21 close this video out get a little refresh and then get home and see these kids before they get to sleep and the last way station coming to South Carolina is also closed not working on the Monday watch out for bottles there we go Okay, cruising, cruising along. 21's coming up. It is 81 and looks like fun out there. There's one boat to the right, one boat to the left. Having some Monday fun day. Don't know what we got going on here. Oh, maybe, maybe. Well, there you go, look back. All right, okay. Little four wheeling out here, QT. Not bad, not bad. Okay, let's wrap this video up, guys. It's been a good day. Six hours is just a little bit way too long. Uh, at least let me know what's going on. Don't maybe walk in the building 40 times, which actually was four times, but I don't know. So we got it done. This last shipper was awesome. Got us in and out as quick as they could. The, the, the weight on this load is only 10,000, so I was kind of against the whole. Uh, I don't like to go up the hill with 40,000 uh, pounds. And it was said 43. And then when I uh, checked the rate con, or when I got there, he said, no, it's only 10,000. I said, sweet. <sighs> so that's light at least. It'll give us up the mountain easy on the truck, easy on everything else. And we're gonna get in here, refresh, and get back to the kids for a little bit before they gotta get ready for school again tomorrow. So on that note, God bless you guys. And we will see you on the next one.